Welcome, my name is Ton and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the keyboard trick of using control and clicking with your mouse in order to add non-adjacent cells to your selection. So with that, let's get started. In our last video, we looked at the idea of using the shift key and then clicking so that we could select all of the adjacent cells between our active cell and that last cell that we clicked on. So if we want to select these cells, we could click, shift click, shift click, so on and so forth. However, there may be a situation where you want to select cells that are not adjacent to one another, meaning maybe we want to select years one and two as well as four, but we don't want to include year three. So if we select all of these cells, we ha now have year three included, which perhaps is not acceptable. So you can use the control key and then click and each time that you click a cell that will be added to your selection. This could take a while if you have several cells in your range or your desired range. That's one way to do it, but I actually like using a combination of what we learned in the last lesson and using the control key and clicking. So if you use shift click to select the largest group of data that you want to include, in this case it would be cells C2 through D7, then we can use the trick of using the control key and clicking in order to add these other cells to our selection. We can then say, put all of these cells maybe in red text or something. Um, it would totally depend on what you wanna do. So again, if we wanted to select years one, two, and four, as well as the corresponding pieces of data, we could shift click so we have the active cell of C2, we press the shift key, click on cell D7, it would select all of that data. Then we would hold the control key and click on cell F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, and then we could say change the font color back to black. Or maybe we would change it to blue. Who knows what we would do. But in any case, in this video, we looked at the idea of using the control key in order to add to our selection. We can either individually click all of our cells or we can use a combination of shift click to select the larger portion and then add on by pressing the control key and clicking the other cells that we wish to select. So pretty straightforward. In our next video, we will look at the idea of using escape to cancel our selection and to avoid making any changes. So join us for that in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.